The molecular orbital shown below can be described respectively as see what is this given sigma sigma star pi pi star pi star and pi and pi star and sigma star so the question is what is the shape of this orbital is that a sigma or sigma star so this is based on molecular orbital theory so we know that what are the kinds of bond formed sigma bond and sigma star bond if it is in s orbital then you have sigma bond and sigma star bond in p orbital then you have pi bond and pi star bond in p orbital so these are the three kinds of molecular orbitals formed what is the shape of this bonds so we know that so for sigma star this is s orbital and this is another s orbital now this the bond formed is sigma star so what happens in the sigma star see this is s orbital and this is another s orbital with the nucleus in the middle of this orbital when the orientation is differ that is if the nucleus come closer to the next one so there will be repulsion here what happens this is repulsion since this plus and plus is nearer to this so there is a anti clockwise orientation so what happens this is the sigma star bond formation that means there will be one nodal plane so to be more precise so this is sigma star there is a repulsion so higher energy higher energy is needed when compared to uh, sigma so the positive charge is accumulated in the side instead of that in the middle here positive and positive there will be a overlap s orbital and s orbital overlap this is sigma s orbital and sigma star s orbital then what happens in the case of sigma p so we know that the overlap is this is p orbital with this positive axis and this is negative axis so another p orbital overlaps positive axis and negative axis so what is this uh, final structure this is sigma p orbital the overlap will be like this then what happens to the sigma star see the sigma star the overlap will be there will be a orientation that is clockwise this is positive axis and this is negative axis so what happens well in the formation of anti bonding the orientation is will be like this so this is not charge this is axis so there will be a rotation and the orientation will be like this and there will be no bond formation this is anti bonding so what happens there will be a no bond formation so this will be like this and we have one nodal plane here this is a nodal plane see for sigma p there will be a overlap and for the sigma star p there is no overlap so this is the structure of sigma star p orbital now
now moving on to the next one pi and pi star so now moving on to pi now moving on to pi p orbital and pi star p orbital we know that the if you take pi to p x and another pi to p x so what happens the orientation will be this is a lateral overlap the orientation will be like this this is plus and this is positive axis and then this is negative axis and the negative axis so what is the result here you have one nodal plane and this is a nodal plane the after the orientation the resulting structure will be like this this is pos this is negative and this is positive and this is pi any 2p or pi p orbital then what happens in the pi star p orbital see here this is one p orbital with the positive axis and negative axis the another p orbital will be rotated because this is anti bonding this is negative axis and this is positive axis so what will be the result see this is the axis there will be a repulsion so you will be having four lobes separately so this is positive and this is negative and this is negative and this is positive these are the four lobes separately and this is the shape of pi star p px or py anything so the pi star pi star will be you will be having two nodal planes this is one nodal plane and this is another nodal plane so you will be having two nodal plane what is a nodal plane the probability of finding an electron is zero so probability of finding electron is zero is the nodal plane So the molecular orbital shown below can be described respectively as it is pi so it is so this is pi this is pi and this is pi star the answer is pi and pi star